everybody and welcome back to the bd swiss uh, trading academy here my name is frank and uh, i'm the host uh, today here replacing my dear colleague alex who's uh, not being able to do it today and tomorrow and uh, obviously we're looking for a few interesting points in the charts and possibly interesting trading possibilities here in the markets for the next days to come. Hope this all is all right. You can hear me perfectly fine here. I'm still on the at the moment and currently, hopefully, the internet connection will last. But obviously, as well, if anything happens, I'll be still having my backup connection ready here to kind of switch over if things are not turning out the way it should. All right, let's get to going in the markets. On the economic calendar, we had um, a few interesting uh, stories uh, recently happening and uh, of course here recently as in uh, today happening. Let's start with the most um, important uh, figures we had um, today and obviously this one it will be the interest rate decision out of australia the um, australian intel uh, the australian um, the royal bank of australia had said that there will be a no change currently the interest rate has been on hold and we were expecting technically quite some uh, dovish comments from the central bank they were yet there were no dovish comments um, coming out there were rather some uh, positive numbers here as uh, so far presented and hence obviously the australian dollar the australian currency could to kind of climb on that uh, footstep as well because um, everyone was more or less apart from uh, maybe including me of course as well expecting dovish comments which would have been uh, uh, causing a possibly decline in the australian dollar and since this one had not been happening, we saw we saw this kind of a short squeeze. So the short the short sellers had been pushed to the upside here. The market, at least for now, changed direction. Now our stop loss here would be still on the upper side here. We can see that the open position here is not behaving totally nice currently. But I still believe that before we could we would be reaching that resistance area, the market would still be turning towards the lower side there, turning towards the downside. And obviously as well, really uh, continuing with downward um, facing pattern here. So what's the uh, headwinds we would be seeing? The headwinds would have been that the Australian Central Bank would have been indicating some possible growth and stuff, but obviously they can't. Why is that so? We're looking at the uh, recent numbers. They said the uh, uh, rates um, would be holding steady, but we could be expecting rate cuts in the month of August and November when the next, uh, when some of the next meetings are coming. And obviously, as well, that means the outlook is rather, rather negative here. And uh, we get some support information as well, just uh, looking slightly lower here out of Australia in terms of a retail growth. Retail growth, that's the uh, second figures we had today, a rather slightly on a strengthening path here obviously better than the expected result but of course in net terms uh, negative in net terms result as in previous uh, month uh, obviously we could see a decline so the actual number is uh, better than expected but in general and uh, looking at into a kind of in, in contest in content in contest in con conjunction with the uh, other figures here we had recently still a decline and obviously here this one is meaning as well that uh, the economy itself is rather weakening and that uh, weakening economy would be rather indicating possibly that the downtrend is likely continuing obviously as well an important story to talk about when we manage and we men when we mentioning here the australian dollar currency is for sure the chinese uh, the chinese uh, yuan as well and of course comparing this one and the chinese uh, trade and um, trade with the australians um, because of course uh, australia is exporting a lot of goods um, in towards australia uh, towards china and if there's a weakening in the um, economy in china that means of course as well that there would be something possibly really affecting here the australian currency now we've learned uh, in the recent in recent trading days as well that the u.s administration and alex uh, i'm sure talked about it yesterday as well that the u.s administration was rather saying hey look when uh, when the when the trade talks are not really going the way as anticipated they would be rather imposing some um, some further tariffs increase from 10 20 to 10 to something on top of 20 percent there which is of course something very negative here for the economy and uh, obviously as well this one would mean as well that the australians would be having a negative impact just by the um, by the big uh, trade um, uh, trade points there by the big um, the trade of course uh, by the trade from uh, the australians compared to the chinese so big story there of course as well we have to see that this one as um, junction before kind of um, evaluating any trading possibilities here still believing the market is rather uh, resuming this downtrend here as well 
which of course medium term would be causing a further weakening here in the Australian and kind of possibly a further strengthening towards the US uh, the US dollar. So we could see that we've broken out to the upside technically here to some extent, but yet of course this is a daily candle here. Market could be all the way retracing further to the downside. Remember as well what's happening, what has happening in our trade here, and then looking at the hourly charts here, whatever went up in, the, in during the Asian trading could very well as well be a changing direction again to the downside being European and or US American trading. So I would be very positively here and looking at the big picture as well. Of course, we could be seeing here if we're looking at this longer term thing, of course, as well here, Australian dollar, big pin there here. I've mentioned it a few times, but still I believe that the Australian dollar has further room to weaken in here. We can see here slight positive movement to the upside. Unfortunately, we can't see it very nicely in the chart because this um, the big pin bar is a bit, um, a bit disturbing here in this area, but obviously markets rather uh, towards a decline here to uh, lower levels. So that's so far for the Australian dollar. What else we had? Not a really big stuff here on the agenda today, which is great because uh, then we can focus on some smaller movements in the markets and possibly as well on some regular movements we could be seeing. Something out of uh, Germany here, factory orders, again, disappointing as of recently as well. The Germans are not doing what they have been expected to do in the past year. Looking at the history, we could see that there's a bit of a declining story as well uh, going here. We had the really declines, of course, uh, in, in recent in recent month here, obviously here a bit a bit of a movement to the upside currently, but still the market is rather in a downtrend here. And uh, despite this movement to the upside, we could see quite often market moving up and down. Of course, uh, if the uh, if the um, yeah if the factory orders are going to some uh, lower areas there, it means as well of course a weakening economy. And Germany as the say as the big engine of the economic engine in Europe, of course, and the causing possibly a further weakening in the currency. We should have a look on the uh, euro, uh, of course, as well. And comparing these um, with the other movements in the other currency pairs here, we can see the euro, despite um, some uh, weakening number from Germany, as said here, moving upwards. The British pound also moving to the upward here. We have a look at the hourly chart here. So the markets are pretty much in, in negative terms when we're comparing the markets towards the US dollar here. And we can see that as well. I just mentioned the Australian dollar and the Kiwi dollar, which I'm coming to in just a minute here as well. So meaning as well that we could be seeing further bearish movement in the markets in terms of the US dollar here. I've grabbed a look, I had a look because I haven't done it in quite a while here at the um, at the uh, dollar index. So for you to, to recap, dollar index is a basket of currencies uh, compared to the US dollar, meaning a rising dollar index, meaning a stronger US dollar, a weakening dollar index, meaning a weakening US dollar. And we can see something remarkable here on the market, on the chart as well. If you can apply technical patterns as well. We had to move here to some higher areas currently, and I like this chart because you can pretty much drag it around and play with this here on tradingview.com. So let me copy this one for you here to grab it. I'll be copying it into the chat box. Where do I have the chat box here? That should be, guys. So sending it to you. Have a look at this one here if you would like it as well. It's not. What's this one? <laughs> Funny. Um, okay, so you can you can use this as well. And of course, there was some uh, strengthening pattern here. If we look at um, at trading indicators here, pin bar charting here, uh, pointing to the upside market, boom, being sold off here, and we could be seeing a weakening, of course, in the dollar index, which is likely possibly lasting further with more weakening uh, with a more weakening stand here. Now, I've just talked about the Australian dollar. And of course, this one is no, no um, exception here, but um, obviously the um, dollar index is more dominated by the big pairs like the Euro, US dollar, dollar Canadian, the Australian dollar pays a lower part here as well. Because if we look at it here, and that's my other possibility here, at least for some uh, trades uh, which we could be placing, we are close by this monthly pivot area here. And this one could be giving us some possible momentum to the upside. So uh, let us just have a look and take the market possibly further here with some upside momentum. This one could be something interesting enough for us. The market would be kind of striving further towards the 112.20 region here if you want to play it safe, 112.15, 112.20, something kind of here where we had this support area pretty resisting and that's the beauty of the charts here. The markets are changing from say support. You can see that here. We are well supported here, broke to the downside found resistance and so on. And now if we'll be breaking through, 
with this push as well. And that's uh, also something I've talked about in the recent webinars. We could be seeing that the, the market would be possibly finding this part of trends here and boom, would be rocking to the upside. Possible play here, just to buy the market, say on top of this um, supportive area. If the market now coming down here, four minutes in this hourly candle, if we go higher here, 112.15 and above, boom, buy it to the upside. Stop loss could be somehow here, 111.95, 111.96, something like in this region, I would be saying would be a good possibility here. And of course, here, the daily ATR, the average range to the upside, um, could be the one which we could be using as a possible profit area. So buying the euro it might be making sense, just to, we should be in line here with our indicators, we should be in line of course, with the weakening dollar index, as said, the dollar index is just a flirting. That's the news as well, flirting with the lows around 97.40. That's, of course, the area we are at here right now. And I would be, of course, seeing certain same kind of support maybe here, say around 97.15. If I would be drawing a line, that would be the support I might be seeing. But until then, we still have space to the downside. And of course, this one. This one could be using for some further weakening here, uh, of course, uh, in the uh, US dollar. What's more to come? Uh, Chart-wise here, uh, sorry, uh, uh, news-wise here, we have some news out of uh, Great Britain and Canada later on. Uh, recently as well, uh, it has been getting kind of quiet out of Great Britain. Interestingly enough, um, nothing much wants people getting a new deadline here. They seem to be relaxing further, having a cup of tea more uh, from the Great Britain side at least. Um, and of course here, UK's hunt. Foreign Secretary Jerry, I was saying, hey, we need a compromise on all sides. Of course, and that's what exactly has been missing. So, wow, what a statement here. You guys have been talking for months, uh, for years, actually, and have not been able to reach an agreement. But um, currently here, markets are seemingly on a good stand as well, uh, yeah, in, in terms of the British pound. Having a look on the same uh, currency as said here, the pound also is pointing somehow to the upside area. The market has been finding some recent supportive uh, movements here. It's not a real trend line we could see. It would be a bit of a bend, a bit of a bend would be needed, but we could see, oh, that's wrong, that's not what I wanted, but we could be seeing that uh, the recent support of, uh, support of market movements are holding on in place and that would be leading us here possibly to some further strengthening to the upside. So in this case as well, the pound looks pretty much stronger with this big break to the upside here, yeah, and that's something remarkably here. So we should be marking this trend line as a slightly bigger one. We could see here a downtrend broken, and retest it after my quite often mentioned here, after my quite often mentioned movements here, resistance, 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 market went to the upside, came to test the trend, and then boom, broker to the upside here, indicating obviously some further momentum here. And this further momentum to the upside could be meaning as well that there would be some further strengthening in the currency pair uh, possible. So 30, 32.50 would be my line in the sand as the first initial uh, take profit. And then of course the subsequent areas here, 133.50. So you got another 100 pips here to the upside possibly if market would be further breaking up to the upside. Seemingly there's no big support area here which is being threatened to break to the downside here. So I'm seeing that the market is rather looking positive Positively here, the news is seemingly are not there, but uh, of course, as traders, we have to act before we see anything in the markets, and uh, then of course, buying something where the market later on is jumping on as well to kind of uh, support our views, which we had been anticipating beforehand. Nothing in, in my fancy is nothing which I'm as well apart from this um, mentioning ideas here. Fancying further, there's no news as said. Uh, Apart from that, uh, Donald Trump still not happily kind of showing his uh, his uh, tax declarations uh, and offering those ones for the Democrats. Obviously, nothing major. We've known all that stuff here beforehand. There's nothing which we could be changing. But um, trade-wise, we might have something else brewing. And I'm posting this for you guys here, of course, um, in our bit of the telegram chat as well we have the kiwi dollar which would be awakening and those um, would be uh, uniting here the both the uh, currency pairs the australian i'm seeing as weakening further and the new zealand dollar here i'm just uh, having an interesting trading possibility here which i've digged out um, this morning for you guys as well looking at the daily and the weekly chart uh, this one seemingly is going much weaker so uh, the exception, of course, in terms of the US dollar, where the American currency could be taking over. And I would be still seeing also that the New Zealand is trading a bit on the footsteps of the Australian in terms of um, the currencies. They sometimes are moving alike. 
We still have also something interesting here, of course, at the register, which will be coming tomorrow. Interest rate decision out of New Zealand expected to be a very negative year. We can see a weakening currency. Where should this uh, currency then be getting strength from if, uh, anyways, the market is rather anticipating a weakening currency? I don't see that the, the um, uh, that in all the governor from the uh, central bank should be coming up with any possible positive movements here or any positive uh, steps there. So this could be something of very much interest for us. Market weakening here, if we could be seeing a further weakening idea, we could be just jumping onto this train here below these uh, low areas. Let me look on the four hours. You can see that recent support area market could be going weaker as well. You could actually as early as uh, jumping in over the break 66, uh, the, um, the 66 support handle here. So if you would like to kind of sell the market for some further downside momentum, you could be even starting already around this region here, which would be meaning as well, you would be jumping in earlier. Stop loss, of course, should be pretty much clear here. It's just above these highs here. So I place the uh, sell order at uh, 65.85. And uh, of course, I would place the, um, the stop loss order just 100 pips higher, 66.85 as well, would be then the, the order I would be uh, using here in order for the stop loss. So movement to the downside expected nicely, take profit will be kind of, kind of happen, uh, more than 100 pips to the downside as well, which could be showing us and offering us some much more further movement. Um, do the downside. That's my ideas for the day here, guys. I'm happy trading, of course, is always here for you. Prepare yourself for the um, uh, Australia, with the New Zealand interest rate decision just by possibly using some of our ideas here as well. Uh, Canada news and not something I would be really focusing on and looking for uh, to for the day here. I don't expect anything positively, nicely positive out of the, um, out of the um, news events, of course, as I said uh, this afternoon. I don't see also the stock market really Really poised to kind of give us some more of a uh, topish movement to the upside. And rather seeing the markets stalling out here at current levels, and despite the um, the news, of course, as well, not being like positively supported. Why that? Just because simply also the gold market are somehow is strengthening further. The markets are showing some possible movement to the upside, which could be leading here towards some a bullish movement. And of these bullish movements here. I could be showing us some further strength in the um, gold markets of course as well might be showing us some weakening in the stock markets as well which is what i would be expecting over the next uh, trading sessions to come guys happy trading as always and i'll get back to you here with the latest news obviously on our telegram channel and um, see you later on in the next session here by tomorrow take care guys happy trading bye bye